Yeah. It really bothers me when people are saying the Jews, yeah. because there are so many different kinds of us. And, you know, uh, uh, there's so many different mindsets of Jews and, you know, half of us can't even stand the other half of us. Yeah. So, you know, uh, stop saying the Jews, please. There are many kinds and we don't, they're all, all in. we don't all have the same opinion. And um, we don't all believe that the Anti-Defamation League speaks for us because right. they seem to ignore very important things and focus on very political things. And we don't dig that. No, we don't. What they're doing to Twitter and Elon Musk is is atrocious. And it's really kind of funny because they're saying that there's a rise in anti-Semitism, which there is. Because if you go on any college campus or follow any left wing journalist, you'll see the rise. And they're saying that Elon Musk, because he doesn't despise Trump and conservatives, is the person pushing it. And just just think about this for a second, because it's really, really funny. I've been thinking about this all week. There is a rise of anti-Semitism on social media. Ninety five percent of it's from the left. Yeah. And they're blaming Elon Musk because he doesn't hate Trump. Now, meanwhile, if you go on Instagram or any platform that he doesn't run, that's run by Zuckerberg, uh, you, you will see much more vile anti-Semitism. It's not even comparable. And they're going after Twitter. They're going after Elon Musk because it's private owned, because he doesn't collude with the government and because he's for free speech. So the ADL is actually disgusting because they're going after him under the guise of anti-Semitism, but it's really to crush conservative voices and the truth from getting out. And that's why people hate the ADL. That's why I hate them. They're not- Well, I, know, I think we need to remember the wise words of Bob Marley, uh, chase them crazy bald heads. Uh, <laughs> I do not trust any bald headed. Yeah. I don't because why, I mean, no, I mean like a shave head. Oh. Okay, good. I mean, I just I just don't trust a shave him. Yeah. All right. Of well. my people. Of my people. Because my people, I mean, you're supposed to have something on your head. Even if it's just a little band around here, you're supposed to have something on your head. Right. You're removing that too, that you went too far for me. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know That's what the I mean? mark of the beast. You're saying bald people are satanic, I think is weird. No, I'm joking. It's the Jew that shaved his head. Yeah. The woman I don't I think so because like my grandmother <laughs> told me about the Chazer. Yeah. That holds out, <laughs> holds, holds out the hoof that's parted. So you think I can eat this pig, but you don't know he only has one stomach, so you're getting tricked. That's true. All right. A couple other things. Don't uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that stuff. And also, we are going to start building up your locals page, mom, which is where we're going to start doing private content. And you're going to start possibly doing live streams once a week with your fans. So follow my mother. Well, I'm going to start praying for people because they really need the, they really need me to start doing that for them. I know it. Well, we want to make money, so say you're going to talk to people and you know talk to their stupid kids or show nudes or something. Oh, then okay. You well, then you can pray for them, but don't tell. Oh, them. well, don't, I don't want to charge for praying for them. Exactly, but you can pray for them. It's not charging. You can do streaming, live streaming, but it's it's subscription service. So what about the porn? First. Which one do I get to do the porn channel on? That you can also do on locals if you'd like. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I know. A lot of people, uh, people say to me every day, I wish your mother would do porn. If I had a dollar. Really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> quite, quite, quite the opposite. Most people tell me, tell your hag fucking anti-Semitic mother to shut the fuck up. That's usually what I get. See, they're just so hateful. They are, but yeah. yet not one of them, you know, is out here in the no. arena. Are they? No. No. But Good yours point. truly is in the arena, bitches. So kiss my fucking ass. I'll do what the Lord puts it in me to do and say, not you. I love it. All right. Well, let me read this ad. You can uh, leave your computer open. Say goodbye okay. to everybody. And then and then thank you for doing the show sick. I know it wasn't easy for you. Um,
you know, uh, of course, I, I also want to say, of course, you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but, you know, uh, there, there, there is a wealth of Jewish opinion that is being censored and needs to be heard mm -hmm. and is being included in the marketplace of ideas uh, where power sits and hears Jewish opinion. And largely it's only one Jewish opinion and that's offensive to me. And uh, I, that's why I, uh, sometimes I perhaps get too loud with it. But I can sense that uh, it's a globalist deal, and I'm not for that because I don't, I don't think that's beneficial to Jews or any other persons. Globalism is not beneficial to any ethnic people whatsoever. Correct. Hundred percent correct. Well said. Thank you everybody for listening. I want to thank my mother one more time because I don't think you guys know how deathly ill she was. We had to cancel our podcast. We were going to not do it at all. She put it together. She's in bed. She put on makeup and she delivered what I thought was a fucking fantastic episode. So mom, thank you again. You're oh. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you look like you need to go to bed. All right. I'm going to close it. Thank you.